Hi, in this video, we're going to be building out uh, Hello World in a C++ application. What we're doing at a high level is building out an application in multiple different languages so that you can see the language, you can kind of get a look and feel, you can learn the language, um, and then you can kind of compare and contrast the languages with each other as you learn them. So in this case, again, we're going to use C++. This is a GUI application, so we need a GUI front end. Um, so we're going to be using C++ Builder from Embarcadero. Uh, you could do the same thing in Qt or Qt, um, and it's cross-platform, that's the key. If you were going to do Windows only, you could use you know, Visual Studio. Um, so in this case, again, C++ Builder, we're going to go to File, New, and you're going to see a couple different options here. Um, so the first thing we're going to start with is FireMonkey, and let me explain what this is. This is their cross-platform GUI environment, so that I can develop an application, uh, let's say on Windows, but then also deploy that application on a Mac. So it allows us to reuse our code a little bit. So we'll go ahead and select FireMonkey application, and what it'll do is give us our form. Now, um, for the Hello World, uh, what we do in all these applications is to uh, add a button. Here we can see our button. Um, you can also browse through here. Um, we'll need uh, a label, so you can drag and drop them. Um, sometimes they have so many components, it's easier to actually just type it in. And we need the edit box, so here we go. So let's lay this out a little bit better. Okay, and here we have our button. Now what we're going to do is um, uh, go ahead and look at the code. Now when you're using an IDE like this, this is a, a RAD, Rapid Application Development Environment. So what that means is it's going to, as we build components, it's going to start writing code for us. And um, it's done this in the background. So it's put this information for the form on here. It's actually created it, and it's included some other stuff. So don't worry about that. We'll go over this in time. The key here is that it, it's kind of helping us build this out. Now, you can always do this from the command line um, by scratch. You know, if you want to build everything, you can do that route as well. We're going to have one series on doing that for C++. So if you want to focus on the language, that's a good way to do it. In this case, we're just focusing on, on the application. Now, what we're going to do is... Um, we're going to double click on this button and when we do, like I said, this thing is writing code for us. It's actually going to build a function for um, our application and we'll go into detail on what this is later. But let's go ahead and double click on this and here is our, our function for us. So what we're going to do is um, we want uh, the text from the edit box here when somebody puts in text and we click on the button, we want the text from here to show up in this label field. So um, again, we can either double click on this to go back to this action, or we could have just clicked on the code. So I'm gonna tab it so that we can see that this is a new line here. And we're assigning um, text to the text field of the label item. So let's go label. And for C++ Builder, we use a hyphen and then a greater than. And what it'll do is it'll bring up our components for us. Oh, it didn't do that. Let me let me explain why. Go back to design. You can see that here are our items. We have a button one, so that if we had ten buttons, you know, we'd have button one through ten. Um, we have an edit field. This is the first edit field. Likewise, label is the first label. Now we can uh, rename these if we want to, but for our purpose, we're going to keep them as is. So you can see that I have label one. When I go back here, I didn't give it, I just called it label. So when I do one, then the hyphen, then the greater sign, greater than, here are all the properties and elements uh, for the label uh, item. So let's go text, and you could call this a class. but um, And then we're going to do the assignment operator. And we're going to take the, the text from the edit field. Let's edit one hyphen, greater than, uh, again, text, and semicolon. Okay, so this is our first line of code, and now we can uh, select run. Since we haven't saved this, the 
first thing it's going to do is ask us to save it. Um, so let's go here. Let's go to the desktop. We'll give this hello world. All right, now I'm going to call this main just to keep things consistent. We'll hit save. And now we have to actually, that was the, the name of our C++ file. Now we're actually saving the project. And again, since this is a GUI uh, environment for us, um, it's going to save some extra stuff. And so it does so in this project. Now when it runs here, here we go. Here's our uh, first C++ application. I can type in hello world. Hit the button and we have our tax. So let's get out of here. We can go back to the uh, design view and let's say on this button, button one doesn't tell me the end user anything. So I'm just going to put uh, we can make that whatever we wanted. And the label, uh, nobody knows what label one means. So let's go to the text and just delete this. So when we do that and run it again, now our program comes up. The label element is here. We just don't see it because there's no text assigned. There we go. So it still works. Now the second thing I want to point out is uh, what's happened here. So C++ is a compiled language. It's different than, I don't know, Python, uh, PHP, MATLAB, some of these other scripting languages in that it takes our code and it compiles it to machine language, which the computer understands. Um, so it compiles it up front. The other languages that are interpreted, um, they do this as you run it. So they tend to be a little bit slower and there's a, there are pros and cons to that. The scripting languages are sometimes easier to development because it's, it's more interactive, but uh, these are faster. So when we go to our hello world application, you can see here's our project file. Here's the um, header file. We'll go into these, our C++ file, and here's our source file for that. Here's the form, design form, and everything else. Of note here is I'm developing on Windows XP. It's a 32-bit operating system. Again, when we built this, um, we could have it de deploy to a Mac or something else if we wanted it to, but right now we're on Windows. So it created this directory. So when I double-click this, um, this isn't a production application, so it created a deep debug for us um, folder so that we could actually debug the application. And you see all this other stuff here. But of note is that this is our actual application. So if I double click on this, I don't need the environment to run it because it's a standalone application. And here we go. And so what this means is since it's compiled, I don't need the environment to run it. Again, uh, you know, PHP or Python or something else, you have to install the environment to have them run, and that's fine, but this one you don't. So when we click on here, we have our standalone application. So we're building a, uh, an application across multiple languages. If you're interested, you can pull up the other languages. You're going to see us build the same thing, or you can continue on with this series. But uh, we'll see you in the next video.